Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be exploring St Peter's and St Blythe's Church, Somersault Herbert, Derbyshire. St Peter's and St Blythe is an early English building of stone consisting of a chancel, nave, south porch and a western tower containing a clock and two bells which were cast in 1874. The site of the church originally had a small chapel of ease from Sudbury Parish, but in the early 15th century became its own ecclesiastical parish. The old chapel was torn down and a new church was built in 1836 and in 1912 the church tower was added. The south porch is of 18th century date, constructed of red brick with stone dressings. It is assumed that this was taken down and rebuilt when the church underwent reconstruction in 1836, but the listing description states that it probably dates from 1836 reusing older materials and suggests that it perhaps came from the south side of Somersault Hall. Inside is very majestic and offers a calm place for worship. Also, it has unique features which are amazing to behold. The church is in an isolated place, deep in the Derbyshire countryside, and has a peaceful aura. Beside the church is Somersault Hall, which was once home to the creator of Tutbury Castle, Leslie Smith. This wonderful effigy is my favourite feature of the church and is supposed to represent Robert by the Broke, the earliest known rector of Somersault in 1428. The church is a welcoming place and fills you with warmth and though it is only small, it is captivating and I could have spent hours exploring. The graveyard is a very peaceful place where time itself is seemingly at a standstill. There are many old graves here, many dating from the 1800s. This grave is the oldest and is the resting place of a John Bowring who lived to see the crowning of three King Georges in England and died before the great victories of Trafalgar and Waterloo.
Many of the old graves are in a good condition and are readable. The graveyard is well maintained and easy to explore and it's a joy to see the differing headstone styles. If you believe that you have ancestors buried here, it is definitely worth visiting for a look. If you are planning a visit, please take care as the roads are narrow and the church has no parking, so you may have to come back at a later day if busy. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.